What's happening guys, Sam Adams here and welcome back to another episode of The Drop. I hope your week is off to an amazing start, but today we have a relatively light episode of The Drop, but still some games that are worth mentioning. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into what new video games are going to be coming out this week. <laughs> Starting things off this week, we have Rift Star Raiders coming to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. The Spiral Arm has been plunged into chaos, and it spawned the poster boy for the Federation's most wanted to save the galaxy and turn a profit. Hordes of War Swarm, a hive mind of alien AI, have waged war on humanity, launching overwhelming attacks against Federation space, and now it falls to you and your ragtag team of raiders to take them out. Hailing from the orbital city of Arcadia, located at the heart of the far region, home to the galaxy's pirate guilds and criminal elite, raiders are infamous hot shot pilots, scavengers, and mercenaries, but working for the feds does not mean you are about to let all of that sweet loot slip between your fingers without a fight, even with a much greater threat on the horizon. Enlist your most reliable teammates to shoot and loot your way through nine formidable four-player co-op missions, wiping out swarms of aliens, feds, and rival pirate gangs in this deep space top-down shoot 'em up Collect perks and loot as you clash with mobs of enemies in intense combat and reap the rewards to craft and upgrade your ship. Customize your spacecraft with tons of combinations to create your perfect loadout, whether you want to be a tank to take the hits a support to snatch your comrades from the jaws of death, an agile damage dealer, or anything else. Now, for those that have been following the channel for a while, you will know that I love a good twin stick shooter, and so, of course, as it would, this game caught my eye. Uh, but it's not the kind of twin stick shooter that I'm really looking for right now. This one is more along the lines of like a pixel junk shooter, where there are bosses, there are specific kinds of elements that slow down the gameplay a bit, and it's not going to be that fast paced kind of house mark gameplay that I love in a twin stick shooter, though it is still going to have some speed to it. With that being said, for those that love twin stick shooters and have some friends to play with, I feel like this is going to be a fantastic option for a co-op experience. So if you're looking at Rift Star Raiders, then you can check it out this week on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And I would love to see this one come to Switch at some point because this kind of game really does lend itself to being played on the go, especially if maybe there's some kind of ad hoc Wi-Fi kind of multiplayer, local multiplayer, split screen perhaps. That would be pretty dang cool. We'll just have to wait and see what happens, but I suppose a Nintendo Switch port ultimately depends directly on the adoption rate on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, so it's kind of up in the air at this point. Next up, we have the first episode of a brand new episodic series called The Council, coming to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, and the PC. The Council is an episodic game like no other, developed by French indie studio Big Bad Wolf. The game delivers a fresh new take on the narrative adventure where your choices and character growth truly matter. Make hard-hitting decisions, develop an array of skills, and directly impact how the story unfolds. With permanent, long-lasting consequences, there is no going back into a tale of intrigue and manipulation in the style of a classic murder mystery, living with a cast of alluring characters, each hiding their own dark secrets. Trust no one while uncovering dire truths, no matter the cost to the mind and the body. For those that want a bit of backstory here, the council begins in 1793 with players taking the role of secret society member Louis de Roche after his invitation to a private island off the shores of England by the enigmatic Lord Mortimer is accepted. Joining him are a number of high-profile guests, including Napoleon Bonaparte and president of the newly formed United States of America, George Washington. The strange nature of this private reception goes beyond just the prestigious guest. Roche's own mother has recently gone missing on the island, while each and every one of the colorful cast seems to have their own hidden agendas. So this is super cool because it's essentially a big ass game of Clue with famous people from history, which is something that, uh, if you know me pretty well, is right up my alley. Uh, with that being said, you guys will also know that I'm not super into story-based gameplay, or at least a game that is solely based off of a story like you would get from a Telltale kind of experience. Uh, but I am interested in seeing how things work work out with Big Bad Wolf because this is a studio that's kind of breaking out with this indie kind of hit that they're going for and so it will be definitely interesting to see how this game does pan out but if you are looking for a brand new episodic game to give a shot this week then you can check out The Council which again is coming to the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One and the PC this week in the form of episode one which is called The Mad Ones so we'll see how it goes. And finally Payday 2 is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Payday 2 is an action-packed four-player co-op shooter that once again lets gamers don the mask of the original Payday crew Dallas Hoxton, Wolf, and Chains as they descend on Washington, D.C. for an epic crime spree. Up to four friends cooperate on each heist, and as the crew progresses, the heists get bigger, better, and more rewarding. Along with earning more money and becoming an infamous criminal, comes new customization that lets players build and alter their guns and gear. 
Payday 2 on the Switch comes with full touchscreen menu support and a newly developed rumble feature that responds as you, for example, fire weapons or throw grenades. There's also an added local multiplayer mode to CrimeNet called CrimeNet Local Play that will allow you to set up a local game and invite friends that share the same local network. Finally, Payday 2 comes with an exclusive character called Joy, who's initially releasing only on the Nintendo Switch. She will come out to other consoles and PC later, uh, complete with her own mask and weapons. Last week, I released a video on Friday talking about Payday 2 on the Switch because it has run into a bit of controversy, and that is pretty much the fact that it's a very old version of the game. Uh, pretty much the way the development has gone is that PC players get the newest content, then PlayStation 4 and Xbox One players get slightly older versions of that content, maybe a couple of months behind, and then you have the Switch, which is severely behind as compared to the PC version. So essentially, the version of the game that's coming out on the Switch this week is actually from the middle of 2017. Yeah. Now the developers have said that there are going to be updates that come to the game, they are going to have some new perks that are going to be implemented over time, but essentially the version of the game that's coming out this week is very, very outdated. Uh, now with that being said, for Switch owners, this is still very cool, it's running at a solid quote unquote 30 frames per second, which is going to be pretty good, if it is in fact a solid 30 frames per second. You've got this brand new heister that you can play as, so that's going to be interesting as well. There are certainly reasons to buy this version of the game on the Switch, uh, but for those that want the newest content, the most up-to-date patches, things along those lines, this just simply isn't the version for you, and at 50 bucks, an old version of the game, it's just hard for me to justify getting this one. So with all of that being taken into account, Payday 2 is in fact coming to the Switch this week, even if it is an older version, so if you are a huge fan of the game, if you've never played Payday 2, if you don't care about any kind of updates and you just want to do heists with your friends on the Switch, then you can check it out this week whenever it does hit the Nintendo Switch. To wrap it all up this week, we have a couple of honorable mentions. First off, Bridge Constructor Portal is coming to the Nintendo Switch as well as the Xbox One. Next up, Battlefield 1's Apocalypse DLC is coming out to all players across the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC after spending two weeks in early access for premium members and finally arcade archive star force a very interesting classic arcade game is coming to the switch and unlike payday 2 i would highly recommend picking this one up because it just simply looks like a fun classic arcade game from the mid 80s and with that we wrap up this week's episode of the drop if you dug it drop me a like down below in the comment section let me know what you think about the new games coming out this week do you think payday 2 is going to be fine on the switch have you been looking forward to the council perhaps you're a big fan of bridge constructor portal and you can't wait for it to come to the switch let me know what you think in the comments section down below and if you happen to be new to the channel I do upload new stuff throughout the week so you can always come back here and check out some of the new content or you can just follow me on Twitter at pretty chill guy to keep up with everything that I make across Twitch YouTube Instagram whatever it may be but as for right now I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this particular video I will talk to you soon peace and have a great week